We're one of 23 retrieval centres across the country, across England. When a child is very unwell and cannot receive the treatment that is required within their local hospital, they get transferred from there by ourselves. We usually use the incubator, but we find that the incubator is quite heavy and combustible. I'm a director of a company called Advanced Healthcare and we manufacture uh, the baby pod and other medical devices. We began working with F1 um, back in 1994 and at that point we saw the need to develop a safer way of transporting babies between hospitals. BabyPod, first of all, is constructed from carbon fibre. It's the same material as an F1 car, and that gives us low weight and very high strength for the BabyPod. She was born with partner Vifta um, and hydrocephalus fluid on her brain, and she had a surgery at one day old to close her back, and she had a BP shunt in a vein at two weeks. The child needed to go to another hospital. Having using this, it was able to get the child there quicker, safer. Naya's made a lot of progress now. She had a tracheostomy. There's only four to five weeks until we go home, thanks to the team in Leicester. They've made it all achievable. And yeah, we're just looking forward to going home. The parent was still able to touch their child, hold the child's hand if the child woke up and just sometimes that baby was awake, just to see the smile on the baby's face and also on the parent's face. We have developed a number of products, but most noticeably uh, the baby pod, which is a direct spin-off from motorsport technology back into medicine. The, the trend and the tendency towards F1 helping industries and individuals outside of motorsport is growing and it's a, is a great focus for us all.